Hi, right, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we're going to be looking at the image grid. Now the image grid is really just a unique way to show and view multiple images, and then use a measure with inside of your data set to reorganize how those images are displayed. So you can use that measure to perhaps maybe show the top list of values. So maybe you want to see the top ranked values if you wanted to, or maybe you wanted to have a weighted list of those values displayed by the image, or you can even just show images in a grid form. And so basically a grid form would almost be like a table of images that you have. And it's a nice little way to be able to visualize and you could even sort your images based on a particular measure that you have. Pretty simple little idea here, but it's a nice way to be able to show images. And you can see here below who this one is developed by. But let's go ahead and walk you through how you can get started by Im using the image viewer in an example I have set up for you. All right, so in this example, we're gonna begin by going to pull some data that's all around movie studios and the number of movies they release and how much money they make on those movies. So I'm gonna go up to the Get Data section to start us off. We're gonna pull in some data from Excel. And then from Excel, we're gonna pull in this movie studios data that I have. I'll be sharing this with you as well. And then I'll hit Open. Once I pull this in, I'll go ahead and tell it that I wanna bring in the rankings spreadsheet within inside of that workbook. So I'll say, select rankings here and then click load to bring this into my Power BI data model. Now you'll notice in the data, you might've seen it there a moment ago, we're gonna see multiple different types of movie studios. We're also gonna see things like the uh, location where we can find an image for each of these. It's actually a nice little Bing search that'll return back an image for us. We can also see how these rank as far as the amount of money they're bringing in. We can have their, their market share, as well as the total gross in millions, and then the number of movie releases they had last year here. So it's some, it's some decent looking data here. And what we can do is we can take this back over to the report view and we can tell it that we wanna use the image grid. And the way we can select the image grid is by going up to the custom visual section here and tell it that we wanna bring in the image grid from a store. So I'll select from store. And then once we select from store, I'll type in the image grid to be able to return back the visual that we wanna use for this example. So I'll select image grid, there we go. And we'll go ahead and add in the image grid. It tells you it can visualize images in Power BI. Yeah, fair enough. So I'll select Add. This will now bring it into the Power BI desktop and the visualizations pane here on the right-hand side. And I can select that image grid, and you'll see here the type of fields that we have. We have two different types of image URL fields, one that deals with more low-quality images, which is what we have today. Or if you have more higher-resolution images, you can use the higher-quality section here. And there's some settings that you'll find under the format paintbrush that are specific for high, high quality images with high resolution. You can also input in some kind of measure. So if you have a measure value that you want to be able to analyze the results by, you can drop that into the value section here. So for us, what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring in our image in as a low quality image under the image URL. And then underneath the value section, you can see the image is already showing up here. But then underneath the value section, what I'll bring in is the uh, total number of movie releases. So you'll see movie releases here. And when I select that, it's gonna bring it into the value section. And what we can actually do is we can make it so that we resort these or we reorder these to be able to see them larger images or re reorient where they're showing based on the total number of movie releases. So which of these organizations or which of these uh, motion picture companies have them total number of releases that's the most. So what we can do is you can actually find this by going up to the sort options up here in the top right where it says more options you can change the sort order here because right now it's actually sorting it by the image, so like the image text. But what we wanna do instead is actually sort it by the movies released. That's the measure that we have in the value section. So I'll select movies released as our sort by property here. And you can see it actually resorts this all together, showing us the ones that have the highest number of releases generally in the middle and everything kind of works its way around. So the movie studio that had the most releases for us, we can go look here, was, looks like the uh, Fathom, had 26 movie releases, and then Sony Columbia Pictures had another 26. So if we go to our report view here, you can see Fathom is in the middle, and then uh, Sony uh, Columbia is right here. So they're kind of working their way towards the middle. Now you can really adjust this some if you wanted to. So if I wanted to, we can make this a little larger, increase the size, and you know, we can also go underneath the Format Paintbrush and we can determine how do we wanna really display this? Because you'll find under the Format Paintbrush section, using the Settings section, you have the ability to adjust a few of the items that you have in here. So for example, right now you'll see the way that things are rendered is gonna be by a top list circles, which basically is it has the circle of all of our images, basing it off of the sort order that we selected earlier. You can also do it in more of a weighted circle. 
phenomenon here. So you can actually kind of weight each of these and then the image, images are, are oriented in that certain way. You can also do something like the grid view, which I kind of like here as well because it kind of gives you a view of all of your values sorted, in this case sorted by our measure, which was the total number of movie releases. So you can see Fathom was the number one. You can see Sony Columbia Pictures number two, Warner Brothers Lionsgate, so on and so forth. You can also kind of play around with this grid view. There's some properties that you can change with the grid view. So right now I've made this much larger. It's taking up a lot of the screen. You can actually change this. You'll see this property here. It's called maximum columns for the grid. Right now it's set to four, so you're only seeing four images in the grid going across. But you can change it if you wanted to. I can make this six per grid if I wanted to. You can make it even higher or I can make it lower if I wanted to. So I made it three. You can see what it looks like when I do that. So you have the ability to play around with this a little bit. You can also, if you had higher resolution images, you can change the, the size that those images are showing in. So right now it's kind of showing with the width of 200. You can adjust that if you wanted to. And then if you were using the weighted option, you can actually adjust the top list weight here if you wanted to. So if you're using that uh, as an option, you can adjust that here. So you have a couple different ways you can play around with this. You can certainly actually add in other visuals with it if you wanted to. So say, for example, I wanted to be able to see which movie studios had the, the most movies very clearly and maybe filter by that. I might do something like bring a slicer in here. And then with that slicer, I might bring in the uh, movie releases into the slicer. And I can see that uh, my movie studios have either had anywhere from 1 to 26 different movies released within last year. And I can kind of slide this back and forth and see which ones had, let's say, all the ones that had more than 10. I can kind of slide that. And you can see uh, my top grossing movie studio, which is Disney or Buena Vista, actually isn't even listed because it didn't have 10 movie releases. But they were so popular, the ones they had uh, still made it my top grossing movie studio. So you can see how it interacts with others. You can also see that if you select a certain uh, uh, image here, it'll filter other things. In this case, I don't have anything else for it to filter. But if you had other items in here, you could actually select that, uh, the images and it would filter them based on the selection here. So it's a nice little uh, uh, image grid visual that you have here. Hope you guys enjoyed this example of our custom visual and look forward to showing you another custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.